Lesson five, multiply multi-digit numbers. So when you're multiplying uh, multi-digit numbers, it's easiest to just go ahead and use the regrouping method. So just like we did before, you just have some extra numbers this time. Like I always tell my students, the numbers get bigger, but the math stays the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my problem. I've got 463 times 58. So I'm gonna set it up in a column method. All right, so what you're going to do is go ahead and multiply each column, all right, one by one, same way we did before. So we start in the bottom right. I start with my 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So I write my 4 down here, carry my 2. 8 times 6 is 48. So 48 plus 2 is 50. So my 0 goes down here, and the 5 goes up here. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus the 5 that I carried over. So 35 plus 2 is 37. Now, here's the only thing you have to be careful of when you're doing multi-digit multiplication. Once you finish that first column, you have got to remember, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and cross these out so I don't get confused later on. But when you start your next line, you've always, always, always got to start with a zero in that place. That's a placeholder. You have to start with a zero. Then you go ahead and repeat like you were just doing. This time I'm going to start with my five and go column by column. Five times three is 15. So I write my five here, carry the one. Now the reason why I crossed out those numbers so I don't get confused, the more numbers I have. So I don't get confused with that two and the five and a one, blah, blah, blah. So I'm very clear. Now I'm just carrying over the one. 5 times 6 is 30, plus that 1 gives me 31, carry the 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 3 I carried over, so 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Boom. Now that I have them lined up, all I'm going to do is add them using the column method. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 5 is 5, 7 plus 1 is 8, 3 plus 3 is 6, and zero plus two is two. So what do I get? 2,000, sorry, 26,854. Let's look at one more example. Same thing, I'm gonna line up my numbers. Okay, so again, the numbers are just getting a little bit longer, but you know what? The math doesn't change. So I got 6,427 times 63. Okay, so again, I'm just going to go column by column, all right? So let's see, let's say 3 times 7 is 21, so 1 goes down here, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, nothing to carry over. 3 times 4 is 12, so the 2 goes down here, the 1 goes up here. 3 times 6 is 18, plus that 1 gives me 19. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and cross out these numbers because I'm done with them. I don't want to get confused for my second round. So again, when you start your second line, it is imperative. It is very important that the first number you put down here is a zero. If you don't put that zero there and you just go ahead and start, you're going to mess up your numbers. So I got to put that zero in that space. Now I start over and go column by column, this time with the six. Six times seven is 42. Put that four up there. Six times two is 12 plus four is 16. Put the one up there. 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 1 is 25, put my 5 down there, my 2 up there. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 8 gives me 38. All right, so now I'm just going to add all these guys up. All right, so what do we got? 1 times 0 is 1. 8 times 2 is 10, so the 0 goes down here, carry that 1. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus that 1 gives me 9. Okay, 9 plus 4, sorry, 9 plus 5 is 14, so 4 goes down here, carry that 1. 1 plus 1 plus 8 gives me 10, so the 0 goes down here, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, so I get 404,901. And that's how you do multi-digit multiplication.